Welcome back fellow creators, in today's Unreal Engine tutorial we are diving into the fascinating world of character animations but wait, here's a quick and incredibly useful tip that will take your animations to the next level. We'll learn how to effortlessly reduce the playback speed of animation templates right in Sequencer. Imagine the possibilities adding dramatic slow motion moments or capturing intricate details with precision. It's time to unlock the true potential of your character animations with this simple yet powerful technique. So grab your popcorn and ready for an animation adventure packed with valuable insights. Let's dive in and master the art of controlling time in Unreal Engine. So let's begin. And first of all, let me just quit the camera report. And also let's quit from the sequencer for now. And let's take a look to the details of the characters that we got here. For example, this FBI agent or FIB or whatever. In the details panel of this character, the first parameter that I want to explain is this initial position, which vary between zero to one. And we can see different poses of this character when we change the amount of the initial position parameter. And we have these looping and playing parameters as well, which looping determines whether the animation should repeat seamlessly once it reaches the end, creating a looping effect, and playing controls whether the animation is currently active or being played or paused and stopped. So as you can see, I have created some keyframes for camera movements, and furthermore, I am gonna add an animation to one of the characters that I got here. So I have this animation in my sequencer, but as you may notice, the motions are too fast for this sequence that we got here. And if I'm going to expand this animation among more frames, let me just show you, it is going to just repeat with the same playback speed, okay? But actually we are able to control the playback speed of this motion. Let's just right click on it. And here we have the properties. And from this window, we have a parameter here called play weight, and it controls the playback speed of the motion of any animation. So as you can see, I just multiplied it to five and we have five times faster motion in this character. So let's just go the same path again, and I'm going to set it to, for example, 0 0.2 would be okay. And let's play it again. And right now we have much more softer motions on the animation of this character. And if you don't want to see some specific actions from the character, for example, in this case, I don't want this character to sit on the ground. So simply we can drag it to any frame that we want. So we won't see the character sitting on the ground. And let me just drag from the start point. And it looks good. And you know what? I want to put some regular voices on this scene. And let's see the results and how it looks like. Good evening, Sarah. I'm Agent Smith, and this is Agent Johnson. We're investigating a recent criminal incident, and we believe you might have some information that can help us. Do you mind if we ask you a few questions? Uh, sure. I'll do my best to help. What do you need to know? And congratulations, fellow creators. You learned how to reduce animation template playback speed in Unreal Engine Sequencer. This quick and useful tip will make your animation creation process easier than ever before. Unleash your creativity and bring your characters to life with dynamic and captivating animations. Stay tuned for more exciting tutorials and happy animating.